Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with just a little tip for you. Um, most of you know that Zara Web Designer has made an upgrade um, to version 10, and in version 10 they have responsive sites. But let's say you can't afford or don't even want to or don't need to upgrade to version 10 just to have the responsive site. I wanted to show you how to make a mobile version of your site really easily that you can um, refer people to uh, if they're using their mobile phone. Now, uh, let's just go ahead and use one of their templates for ease of use. Um, let's go ahead and just create this little index page here. Okay, now there we go. Now it's very important that you realize that you're going to need to, when you upload your mobile site, you're going to have to upload it uh, to the same uh, space that you're going to be uploading your site. But we're not going to go over that. Uh, there's plenty of videos on how to upload sites and how to use FTP um, in order to upload. But let's just go ahead and create. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this to a mobile version so this is the Apollo index page and we're just gonna do the same thing but create uh, a version that's a mobile version so we're gonna just duplicate so when you're making your site all you're gonna do is just duplicate all the content that's on your site version 10 does do um, for you is that when you upgrade up Update something on your original site it will update on your mobile site but you know that's just something that you'll just have to deal with if you do have an upgrade or um, in other words an update on your regular site you will have to do an update on your mobile site also okay so let's say we're going to this is my original and this is my mobile version so in the mobile version the first thing I want to do is change the dimensions so to change the dimensions all you're going to do is go to the page options here and you're going to change the page option from the width that you're given to 480 or smaller if you'd like. And as you can see, it's cut down my site to the 480 version. Okay, so up to this point, uh, it's similar to how you would work it with uh, Designer 10 Premium, but uh, you can do this with just about any site. So let's say we, this is our original and now this is our mobile. So let's go ahead and just rework some of this mobile information here. We're going to make this a little bit smaller. And just like that. We're going to make sure it's centered. Okay. Now you see this, this picture here. Um, we, we, we need much more space so that we can bring this down. So what we're going to do is we're going to just make this a little longer. or maybe a little bit more a little longer still okay and we're gonna make sure that we have the aspect ratio clicked here because otherwise if we don't have the aspect ratio when I bring this to uh, a smaller size it's going to skew it so make sure you have the aspect ratio lock on and then all we're going to do is move this around okay so let's zoom out a little bit here all I'm doing on my Windows machine is holding control and zooming out so that I can get more of all my information here. We're going to push this down a little bit so we can have some room to work. Now all I'm going to do is select an area here, push all this down, and now we have more space to work with. So we're going to zoom in again. I still like this background here, so we're going to keep that background there. We're going to bring this down just like that and all we're going to do is resize it okay now you won't lose any of the functionality of your uh, of your site all you'll do is all you're doing is reworking how the site works here okay so we want these <coughs> this to be a little longer here okay that works we can even push this up a little bit make sure it's centered and now let's go down to this part here so let's zoom out again just to get an idea of where everything's going so what we're going to do is we're going to take this 
I'm going to move it up. And this is really up to how you want to do it. If you want to perhaps uh, put this in between here, you can do that. You know, it's just really up to you how you want to do it. So, let, but just to keep it simple for now, we're just going to move this over to about here. Make sure let's make sure it's centered here. Okay. Don't forget to bring everything else that you have. push this up here okay and that's more or less how we have now don't forget to bring this over also there we go and if you're an affiliate make sure you bring the affiliate tag over also okay so up till now this shouldn't be too much of a problem all we did was we moved everything over and we made it in the new 480 size okay we'll talk about the buttons later all you have to do is you know make larger buttons if you'd like what I normally do is make two big buttons and um, make another link list that's a lot larger now here's the secret sauce here what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click anywhere and we're going to do the web page properties and we're going to go to the head so we're gonna go to the website now we can go to the page and do the same thing but it's safer if you do the website that way whatever you paste into the head is gonna be pasted on all of the pages so we're gonna paste a little code into this head that says um, that whenever you come to this site and you have us uh, and you have a screen that's smaller than 700 pixels across it'll call up my mobile site so to do that we're going to just paste a little code here and so we're gonna copy and we're gonna paste and basically what this Java says here is if the screen width is less than or equal to 699 pixels across then we want the document location to point to and then here you would put whatever site you have so in this case I have my main site and then I have my mobile site in a folder called M and then I have the index within there so I have two index files I have an index file that's the main index and then I have the file that's in my M folder or my mobile folder okay so that's all you really need so you say okay there you say apply here and then when you go to the site if the site is smaller than 699 pixels you'll get this one here otherwise you'll get this one here now of course you can make a few different um, versions you can make a, a a tablet version also and all you'll have to do is change the HTML code here to if the screen is smaller than whatever dimensions you want it to fit okay and then put it here and then you'd add another uh, line here for example I'd add uh, another line if the screen width is smaller than let's say 200 go to a separate site so you can make with Java um, you can make it do anything you want so uh, this is just a little tip I know it took a little longer than a quick tip should supposed to take but that with that little code that's going to be pasted right below the video you're able to um, simply make two sites and direct your customers or clients to the right site thank you very much